All right, so uh, I'm gonna do a video on this pretty cool little amp that I picked up off of eBay pretty cheap. It's a uh, Canadian made, it's a Riviera brand, which was made by Pine um, Electronics. Pepco was another name that they used. Um, the amp was all original. Uh, I had to re, I had to put a new pot in for the, on the treble control. It was just two of the pots, the bass and the treble were totally froze up. I got the bass, uh, control working pretty good. And, uh, the treble, uh, just worked for a little bit, but got totally messed up. So I just repla replaced it completely. As you can see on the insides, this amp is completely original. Uh, and has really nice components. Has a nice mustard caps that um, Marshall used, and um, yeah, it's in really good shape. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the main filter caps. They're uh, on the underside of here. There's a 40 and a 40 microfarad, and the same on the other side. But like I said, it's all original. It has two 6V6s and two 12A87s. The the 6v6s are uh, Russian smoke glass tubes, and the two 12x7s are tongue soles. So good quality tubes. The cab is pretty grimy. It's got a little bit of rust on the on the on the uh, corners on the chrome and stuff, but I could tell before I started working on this amp, I knew nobody more than likely had worked on this thing because it has these weird nuts in here that take a square a square bit and usually those will be all messed up and they were really in there tight and they you could tell that somebody hadn't uh hadn't uh, messed with it and like i said i'm going to clean this thing up it's really grimy i don't know where this thing had been sitting but Anyways, on the bottom, the sides, and the, and the bottom of it's just funky. Looks like it had been sitting maybe in a, somewhere where it got maybe damp a little bit. And uh, it's just pretty, pretty nasty. Now the Tolex is peeling up in some spots, but that's no big deal. I can glue that all back down, and I'm going to do that. But uh, I've got some spots here I need to fix, and on the other side there. There was a little tube chart in here. You can see where there's a little bit of a shade of it left. But it was just like the paper was so thin. It was right in here. It was just like it just disintegrated when I got the amp up. When I got the chassis out of here. But but the uh, the amp sounds killer. I mean this thing has got a lot of power. And it really sounds good. Here's the um, the grill part for it. It's in pretty good shape. It's all together. It's not all beat up. That part's just a little press board. But the box is like it's made out of pine, which is good. And, uh, yeah. And there's the back of it, too. I'm going to fix that up a little bit and clean it. But anyways, it's going to be a... Pretty should be a pretty cool amp when I get it cleaned up. It already sounds amazing, so I'll be doing a video on that as well. And I'll show the underside and all that to it for it too. And uh, let's just take a look at that and the transformers. Okay, here's the opposite side of the chassis. Um, like I said, it's got the two uh, 12 AX7 tongue sole tubes and I thought these might be RCAs, but these are stamped uh, Russian Russian tubes. And there is the output transformer, as you can see, 1173. It's the same on this one, too. And you can see right here, Pine Electronics. And the date code on the bottom, 1173. But yeah, I'm going to put a three-prong cord on here. Probably re go go ahead and redo the um, the main filter caps. Uh, it takes an eight ohm 
load and it also has an extension speaker plug-in. Um, I found a schematic online and it looks like maybe one that had been hand drawn but the schematic online has a 5U4 rectifier tube but this this amp does not have that. Um, it has a solid state and uh, I've never seen one of these right there diodes like that. It looks I don't know. It's pretty wild looking. But yeah, I mean everything is you can see is is soldered well to the uh, chassis for good grounds and connections. Um little ceramic uh um uh, holders for the uh the tubes. Sorry I can't think it's been a long day. Too hot. Hot in Tennessee. Yeah, anyway, so I'm going to get this thing cleaned up, clean up this faceplate on here, and I'm to put, make it a little bit better than it is. It's pretty grimy. As you saw, the cab was really grimy, and I'll let you hear this thing, but it really sounds good. I've been running it through this old off-brand Marshall Park cab, 412 cab, and uh, I think this thing could keep up with the band easy. It's really surprised me how good it sounded. Got a lot of good bass and tone, so anyways, yeah, I will get this thing together and we'll do another video and get a sound demo. So this is a 73. Also, I plan on getting this bad boy on for a video. It's a 73 Super Bass. Got this from a friend of mine, got a great deal on it. And I've got a really old Marshall cab with some Celestins in here that probably date to 68... 1969 and it sounds fantastic so two completely different amps in the same era same year that'd be interesting okay till then hope you guys like this video and uh, subscribe if you hadn't already and i'll see you soon